This is section 4.1, Introduction to Matrices. This section is pretty easy. We're going to introduce the basic vocabulary when we talk about matrices. Well, what does a matrix look like? So this is a typical matrix. A matrix is not limited in how big or small it is. And it's not limited in its shape. Well, other than rectangular. All right. So uh, first thing is dimensions. A matrix, matrix has dimensions. And we say these dimensions by row, by column. We describe the dimensions by mentioning the number of rows by the number of columns. Rows go this way, columns go this way. So the first matrix I have drawn here, written here, is a 3 by 2. And the second one is a 2 by 3. I already mentioned some other words, rows going this way, columns going this way. We also have what are called square matrices. A square matrix is n by n, uh, meaning the number of rows and the number of columns will be the same. So this is a square matrix. There is a square matrix. It's, this one's a 3 by 3 square matrix. Exciting, huh? OK, never mind, sorry. All right, moving on. Uh, other special types of matrices. I've been putting these in order, but they don't have to be in order. This is a columnar matrix because it's just one column. So we also have a row matrix because it's one row. So we have this weird one. This is a square matrix because it's one by one. It's a column matrix, columnar matrix, because it has only one column. It's a row matrix because it has only one row. Let's talk about the cells in a matrix. Uh, the 1 is in, it's in row 1, column 1, so we say the element is like A11. If this were, if the matrix is A, then that's A11. So 2, so A11 is 1, and A row 1, column 2 has a value of 2. Okay. And here we have uh, a two one is negative six, a two two is zero, and a two three has a value seven, a mm, a two one, a Wow, I really screwed that up. This is A31, and this is A32. It is 3. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry for my mistakes. That little... Did you hear that noise? It startled me, and I didn't know what was going on. All right. That's it. That's it for Introduction to Matrices. Uh, there isn't a whole lot to it. 
Uh, we spent all of like 10 minutes in class discussing it. All right, that's it. Okay, my computer is having some problems here. Maybe it doesn't like this video. Anyway, all right, here we go. Uh, continue on with section 41. What does it mean for two matrices to be equal? Well, it's not a difficult concept. Two matrices have to can be two matrices are equal if they have identical dimensions and each corresponding cell are the same. So one and one, two and two, three and three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Now this probably seems like common sense. Well, hopefully it is. But what are we going to do with it? Well, what's going to happen is more this. Let's say we have x plus y. And let's say y. And let's say we got 2x and 6. So this is how we're going to use it. Because our definition of equal matrices, we can say from this that x plus y equals 2x and y equals 6. So then you're expected to solve for each of the variables. So well, we already know that y is 6. We can plug it in here. Get x plus 6 equals 2x. So weird. x equals 6 too. Okay, so looking at this equation, by our definition, we set up two other equations that are that don't involve matrices, and then solve for the missing variables. That's it.